Hey guys, um, welcome to another one of my videos. As promised in the unboxing of my brand new Apple 2012 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, I was going to produce a video for you of it powering three external monitors. And so that is what I've got for you today. Uh, two of them are running at 1080p, well, one at 1920 by 1080, one at 1920 by 1200. Uh, the MacBook Pro screen itself is also running at 1920 by 1200 and the third display is running at 1600 by 1200. I to apologise for the darkness of the video. The lighting in the room I filmed in today was very poor so I do apologise. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to another video. As promised in my unboxing video of the Retina Display MacBook Pro which is sitting in front of me I would show or demonstrate it powering three external displays as well as its own and so currently its own display is running at 1440 by 900 but I think I'm just going to crack that up to its highest resolution of um, currently on here which is more space, so 1920 by 1200, so I'm just going to quickly change that to that. Um, so that is now running at 1920 by 1200. I'm going to quickly maximise this as well. Um, on the display on our left, this here is running I'm not sure if it's going to focus on that at all, but that display there is running at 1600 by 1200, and that's currently playing a 720p video file. Then moving to the first display on the right-hand side, that is set to. Let's just see what that is set to. It should be set to 1920 by 1200 which it is and that is running a 720p YouTube clip which is actually about to run out so I'm going to bring that back and then finally if we go all the way over to my 42 inch HD TV that is running at 1080 as well and that is playing a full 1080p MKV video file and it's having no problems whatsoever I can drag and drop these pages around so quickly just going to drag this one over here there's absolutely nothing wrong with moving it. The pages scroll fine and there's no lag whatsoever which I think is absolutely amazing seeing as we're driving a ridiculous number of pixels. Um, back on to the MacBook Pro Retina display screen. That's smooth as a whistle as well. Nothing wrong with that scrolling. Um, I'm going to try and get a, another 1080p monitor set up next to this one so I can be running four effectively monitors at 1920 by either 1200 or 1080 to see how well it performs there but I highly doubt there's going to be much performance difference in between this and what I intend to do um, so hopefully I'll have that on for you shortly um, just as a quick side note um, everyone says the new MacBook Pro is extremely quiet and I have to agree with them however this is the first time that I've really heard the fans kick in and I suppose the graphics card is really having to work quite hard to power three external displays off this and I'm just going to do a quick temperature test it's not too bad actually I thought it would probably be worse than that coming from the MacBook Pro it's not too hot at all um, the way I'm powering the two displays either side of the MacBook Pro is the one on the left is using a mini display port to VGA adapter and the one on the right is using a uh, mini display port to DVI adapter so one of the great things about this is it has two Thunderbolt ports or the camera uses mini display ports so that is how I'm able to run these displays off that um, generally I don't have my 1080p TV connected into this unless I'm watching something on it in which case I can just use the 
newly introduced and much appreciated HDMI port and cable which is sat just down there which is lovely makes life so much easier just for connecting to projectors or anything like that so thanks for watching if anyone has any questions or would like me to do something else with my retina display macbook pro please leave me a comment down below and i'll see what i can do for you please subscribe and thumbs up my videos thank you very much and stay tuned for more videos